Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mosengi Dong Kong, and I'm back with another bullet journal video. I swear I say that at the beginning of every single video. Um, but yeah, here's May. I decided to do a common kind of honeycomb bee theme I thought was I thought was a little cute. I really liked how other people turned out, and yeah. So I actually really do like the cover page. I messed it up a little bit, but because I was going to put some more detail in here, but I, I it just... I don't feel like going back and doing it. Um, these are actually pieces of a folder, like, you know, a document, like, kind of, not manila folder, but one of those ones you put, like, special documents in or something like that. Um, and then here we got the overview of May, like, just important events. Um, and then here's the 365 questions for a better you. I don't have a yellow pen, so I might be just writing the stuff in black and highlighting my answers in yellow. I'm not sure about that yet. Just to be able to distinguish them a little bit better. And next is the daily tracker. I haven't decided if I'm going to like use all the same color for every day. I think I'm going to do like I usually do. And do like one, the first one color, the second one color, the third one color, the fourth another, and then repeat. Um, and then here's the sleep tracker over here. Typical setup, not anything different. This one was a little bit different. I actually really like it, how it turned out. Here is my best memories page. Um, also just going to write that in black ink. Um, don't have anything else I want to use. And then the mood tracker. Definitely took this layout from Pinterest. I really liked how this was. It looks really cute. And then here's the study slash homework page. I... I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of studying and homework in May. I was planning to take a May class, but I think I'm going to drop it because <laughs> I might just want to take it for my fall semester instead because I have some stuff going on in May that I don't want to miss out, miss a day of class, and that would be really hard to make up and stuff like that. So and Then here's the beginning of the weekly like to-do list spreads because you guys know I used to do like a monthly um kind of to-do list, and I decided to do one by a week and days, and like just to plan everything out nicely. Um, I did get a lot of inspiration from this girl, you can see like this page on Instagram, um, at may.writes, I think it is. Um, I, so she did like a, she did this theme last month, and I was already planning to do it, and so when I saw her start posting her April stuff for the bee kind of honeycomb thing, I was like, Bro, this is great. So now I have like extra inspiration by someone that I do like their um, layouts. So yeah, here's another weekly. And here's the last. Um, this one was from Pinterest. But the other two I'm going to be doing, I haven't planned them out yet because I don't have enough time. I can't because I'm usually pushing out this video until super late. But I'm also going to get those from, I think one of them I'm using from May Rights. And the last one I don't know what I'm doing for that. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little... I don't know. I feel like this one is a lot of it's something a lot of people do, but I, I really like this month. I feel like it turned out better, and I, also for the week things, I think I'm going to incorporate these pieces of paper, because I really like how that turned out. It, I really... It, it's just cute. My cover page is my favorite, because <laughs> it's just more of my creative aspect of it, and everything else is pretty much Pinterest except for this. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a great month of May, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!